Okay, hello. I'm Joni Stahl Batts Gobronson, and I use all of my three last names for very good reasons. Stahl is my maiden name, and that is to honor my parents who gave me his last name, Stahl. And Bats is to honor my deceased husband, who is the father of my four boys. And Gobronson, of course, is to honor my current husband, whom I love and adore. And we have had a wonderful journey with this XRP life. So my, my husband has two kids. And so that makes us like the Brady Bunch. We have six kids together. And uh, we've been a pretty good family. Everyone seems to get along well. Most of the kids are adults and uh, we're very happy with one another. So one of the questions that Scott had asked me to answer would be, how did I get into cryptocurrencies? And it's kind of an unfortunate story, but it's the truth. I got into cryptocurrencies through USI, which was like one of the first crypto things out there. And it ultimately ended up being a scam and these people took everyone's money but uh, that's how I got into it. And then I learned about Bitcoin. And when I first got into cryptocurrencies, I can't honestly say that I understood it, but I just knew it was something that I had to get into. So I think like everybody else, I can honestly say I bought blindly. In other words, I bought like a Bitcoin, I bought an Ethereum, I bought a Litecoin. Those are the only three that were listed on Coinbase at the time. I think that was in, in 2017. So I got started that way. But well, then I started to do more investigations and more studying on the different cryptos. And I really couldn't find a whole lot like, why was Bitcoin such a great coin, uh, a, great, a great coin? And then, you know, I didn't really find a whole lot of Litecoin. And then Ethereum, like they seem to have the most things that, that were good. And they're supposed to like solve problems. But then I came across XRP. And when I started studying and learning about XRP, and then I started listening to the YouTubers, Brad Kimes, DAI, Mr. B, A Bearable Bull, and Kevin Cage. Those were my, my five favorites. I started listening to them. I really started to grow. And then I started reading articles. And at the beginning, my husband was not on board at all with this. In fact, he said that I was obsessed with it because I was constantly on the computer, constantly studying. And of course, I was accumulating the entire time. I was kind of afraid to tell him how much I was accumulating. And I kind of did it like he didn't know. But I think Brad Kimes does the same thing. But every time the price dipped, I just got more and got more. And I reached a point that I was happier if XRP dipped more so than it going up because I had a set amount. I had a goal and I reached that goal. Actually, I went over that goal and I, uh, I'm kind of ashamed to tell you that I actually overdrafted my checking account and had to pay an $8 fee because I put too much in XRP. So I'm kind of embarrassed about that. But what happened is, one day we went to uh, Chase Bank and I went to my safe deposit box and I had my Nano S because everyone was saying, you know, halfway into this, you know, you need to make sure you put all of your cryptos on a Nano S because it's a safe place to do it. So I went in there and I had my Bitcoin, I had my Ethereum and I had, and I think Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, I'd gotten rid of Litecoin at the time. So we're in their little box, we're putting it in, you know, Ethereum took maybe three, four minutes. XRP, boom, liquidity split. Bitcoin, we're waiting, we're waiting. I'm in this little room with my husband. I'm like, how long is this gonna take? You know, this, this is ridiculous. Well, we'd already started, we waited. I said, let's just go on home. So we went home, I practiced the piano, kept checking my phone, it still wasn't on my Nano S, kept looking, kept looking. And I'm like, what is going on? Why is this taking so long? You know, I mean, XRP, boom, instantaneously. Then you got Ethereum, three to four minutes. That wasn't so bad. Makes you nervous. You know, you're kind of scared a little bit, like where did it go? And then Bitcoin, I'm like, well, maybe I, you know, maybe I messed up. I was, I was very nervous about it. 
So finally, it arrived six and a half hours later. And can I tell you, the next day I drove back to Chase Bank and I removed the, the Ethereum and the Bitcoin from my Nano S. I put it back on the, the platform. I converted it all to XRP and I am 100% in with XRP. So that's where I'm at. So with XRP, the I you know I set little little goals, and I uh, fifty cents was it is it for me? So I bought anywhere from the lowest fifteen cents to probably like forty forty one forty two cents. That was like way way back. I can't remember when, but um, but then when it started going up, you know, over fifty cents, that was it. I was done. But I had already reached my goal, so I was great with that. If I was gonna offer any advice or tidbits to anybody who's just getting to the space, this is what I would suggest that you do. First of all, I don't care if you're old or young, if you don't have an IRA Roth account, I suggest that you go through iTrust Capital and get yourself an IRA Roth account and max it out. If you're younger, I think it's 6,000. If you're older, it's 7,000. Um, I also put my crypto in several places. Now, some people don't like the idea that you put your crypto on some of these platforms. However, if you want to cash out, you've got to be prepared. So I have 15% on Celsius of my total X of XRP supply. I have 15% on Celsius. There I receive interest. I like that because now that I'm not buying any more XRP, I'm getting a weekly interest amount in XRP. I like that a lot. However, I only have 15% on Celsius. I just opened up a Binance US because you can cash out $1 million a day. And we all need to have a high amount whenever we're cashing out because we really don't know where this is gonna go. Uh, before the, I did the Binance US, I did have an uphold. That was one of my cash out plans. I have, I don't know, I don't know, 3% maybe on there. I'm not really sure exactly. But 80% of my XRP still sits on my Nano S. So that's the safest place. So if I lose my 20%, it's not the end of the world. I still have my 80% on, on the nano. So my cash out for me is probably different than you all. So my cash out is when it hits $71, I'm taking 12.5% out. Of that 12.5%, half of that will be for fun and whatever it is that I want it to go towards. And the other half is saved out for taxes. From there, I'm going to keep the 87%. 0.5%, I'm going to keep it in there until it hits a high three digit. In other words, over $500, three digit. And then I'm not sure how much I'm going to cash out. And then I'm going to do the same for four digit. I'm going to hold, hold and for five digits. So I'm thinking very positively. So for the most part, I will be hodling 87.5% of my XRP until we reach these three, four and five digits. Um, you know, I live, my husband and I, we live a simple life. We're in a one bedroom, one bath. I enjoy making money. I am not one who gets my nails done or I have eyelashes. I don't get my eyelashes done. I don't have a whole lot of clothing. You know, when you live in a one bedroom, one bath, I just have a few inches for my clothing. If I get a new dress, one dress goes off the rack. But I have really, really enjoyed just, uh, just making money. And uh, this is unbelievable what's happening. Um, there was there were two other questions that Scott had asked me to answer. And I honestly don't think I can. And they, the questions were, where do I think we are now in space? And where do I think we're going? I honestly cannot answer that. And I'm going to tell you why. I haven't experienced it. When the Internet came out, I didn't know what the Internet was. I hadn't experienced it. When websites came out, all I could think was, we have the yellow pages. Why do we need websites? I hadn't experienced it. Now that I've experienced it, this, I know our lives, we, 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 it's unbelievable what the internet has done for our lives. Number one, now I have really smart friends and those smart friends are those YouTubers and those Twitter people and the people of the XRP community. And I'm thankful for that. And I wanna end with a story, how this is just instilled in me to really use your money wisely. When I was in fourth grade, I picked strawberries for 10 cents a quart. 
I would pick, pick, pick because I'm number four of eight kids and money did not grow on trees, nor did we get any type of allowance. So for 10 cents a quart, I'd work, work, work. I would do like 50 quarts. I'd make $5 a day. We'd all go up to this little store called Lathan's in Clyde, Ohio. And everyone would spend their money on sodas or pop and Twinkies. And I would just sit there with a long face and then like, well, how come? How come you're not going to buy anything? And I'd say, I have to give my money to my mom and dad for groceries. So everybody felt sorry for me. And then, of course, they'd buy me stuff. Then I'd ride my bike up to the Clyde Savings Bank and put my $5 in every day. And that's what I've done with the XRP. I've just accumulated, accumulated, accumulated. Three years ago, I reached my goal. I'm thankful. I keep setting goals. And I am so excited to what is going to happen. I do believe it's going to be huge. I still can't fathom what I hold, but I'm thankful that I got in this group. Thank you very much and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be safe.